You know, Chris, I never thought we'd be at the point where it's the defense. Boy. The defense Off, for the Panthers offense is the issue. Has to absolutely play perfect for them to have a chance in this game. Yeah. In any game, any it game. seems like. Is it scheme or is it players? The players answer that. Let's get this sucker started. Get dialed in, Panthers fans. Here comes an in-depth look at your team. Exclusive interviews. Locker room insight. Ready. Let's huddle up. Let's just do it, okay? For Panthers Playbook, driven by Carolina Ford dealers. Here are your hosts, Dennis Cox and Chris Lee. Welcome back to another episode of Panthers Playbook. That's Chris Lee. Dennis Cox here with you. We just touched tips. Pause. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Before we get started, leave your comments on this game in the comment section below but also while you're at it hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't done so already carolina ford dealers is your sponsor here of panthers playbook with the ford f-150 on your team it's game on see your carolina ford dealer today 38 to 20 chris and uh outside of you take away the the opening drive for the falcons yeah. they went three and out yeah and the final series air quote series of the game where they, where they just kneel down and they turn over and, it's and one turnover. And one, one turnover. turnover. They yeah. scored on seven of eight drives. Or seven of, right. nine, seven of nine drives. That sounds right. Seven of nine drives. You, get it. you just take away the kneel downs at the end. They scored on yeah. seven of nine yeah. drives today. And the defense, it's a problem. It, it's just, let's call it what it is. We talked about it earlier this week on Panthers Playbook about the defensive scheme, which we'll hear from Claude and Sherilis, as well as J.C. Horn. We asked them the questions of, hey, is it scheme or is it personnel? We'll hear those answers here in a sec. But, Chris, this defense, let's call it what it is, it ain't good. This it's has 11 terrible. drives, by the way, uh, right here. So, uh, oh, so yeah. I guess maybe nine. Um, but, mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's 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 horrible for uh, for the Carolina Panthers right now. And that's the part where, like, and, and this, is, this was an exact question in the locker room. Yeah. But, like, for the last few years, it was always, but, man, if the offense can just catch up, the defense is doing their job. The was, Panthers can like mm -hmm. maybe either be in these games or maybe even win these games. And we're not seeing it. It's just not the case right now. And of course, there's a lot of people, you, you kind of wonder what it is, right? Is it the player? Is it the, the scheme? Because mm -hmm. you do have all these uh, folks uh, who are injured. Yeah, guys who are On not front playing. Seven, yeah, and uh, you have guys who are done for the season. You have uh, Jadavian Clowney who didn't play. Uh, you have Josie Jewell who's still out with an injury, um, and and so many different things like that. But also, it feels as if like once when you're watching these other teams, this was happening also against the Bengals. Yeah, other teams' running backs are going four, five, six, seven yards deep before being touched. Yeah, right, and so forget about injuries mm -hmm. man versus man nfl player versus nfl player you're not getting the run game taken care of 198 yards and and it should have been over 200 yeah because you have four yards lost on kneel downs at the end of the game you look at tyler algier had 105 yards Bijan robinson had 95 yards that's 5.2 yards Bruh. a carry and Bruh. obviously those four kneel downs at the end brings down your average it's, like that's the that's the this discouraging part because mm -hmm. like we're watching again we we have to go back we have to go back to the injuries there are injuries yeah but even with the injuries you still have these guys who are nfl players who should be able to at least stop the run yeah this is where i'm kind of wondering what is going on with the defense because it's not even just that it's also all the blown and missed assignments that we saw too and, in the passing game yes like for example there was a time where you you mentioned it it was second quarter hey if the defense got to get off the field it's yeah right on midfield for no darnell mooney is wide open like on the left sideline gets like a 12 yard pickup Troy Hill ran with another guy. It was man-to-man -man coverage. Two guys were on one. Mooney's wide open. Kyle At, Pitts getting wide open, 52-yard reception. Xavier Woods jumped up on a guy on the underneath round for, you know, Kyle Pitts is wide open deep behind you. Those are starters. Yes. Like, those are starters. <laughs> we're talking about starters so this, at this point. This isn't talking about, like, and then J.C. Horn gets beat for a touchdown. Yeah. As well by yes. Drake London. Just gets beat inside. Those are starters that are getting beat. Yes. And then you obviously you look up front. The front seven's not getting a job done. You and I tracked it during the course of the game, uh, talking about Evero's scheme. Um, how many times did the Panthers blitz? And how many times did their defensive front, their defensive line, run some sort of stunt or twist up until the game got out of hand? 
I had seven blitzes. I'm sorry, eight blitzes and one stunt. And even that stunt, we weren't sure. And even it. that one was, was kind of like, like was it a stunt eh, was or, it? or was his eyes in the backfield and he knew, you know, he had to or go he's to just the other like, side. all right, let me just try to yeah. go around this way. That's it. And guess what? My here's what here's my point of view is on this. If it ain't working, you gotta try something different. Yeah, you yes. gotta try something different. Because right now it ain't working, and well, it hasn't been working. Well, Dennis, that's a good friend of Dave Canales who mm -hmm. currently finds himself without a job. Oh, Robert Sala. Um, maybe he's been looking at some real estate in the Charlotte area. We've been talking about this mm -hmm. for a week now. But like, I'm I'm not an advocate for anybody losing a job, right? Like, I love mm -hmm. when people are working to be able to take care of their families and pay some bills. But let's just call it what it is. It's not working for the Panthers on defense right now. It's not, and 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 it's not like they don't have the guys who can do it. And I'm not saying that like the guys who are on the field right now are just world beaters and you know pro bowlers and things like that. But you you have guys who have a, a track record of success. Yeah. We should, there should at least be like the Falcons are going to be the Falcons, right? Yeah. They're going to, they're going to move the ball down the field. They're going to get their points. But boy, if you could just get off the field three times, even twice in this game, right? It's still bad, yeah. right? Like it's still bad because they would have still scored on most of their possessions. Get off the field two times, three times, or whatever. This is a very different game. Mm -hmm. And the Carolina Panthers on defense just can't do it and it's too much to ask an offense that has a patched up offensive line right now yep. a backup quarterback and young wide receivers because your veteran wide receiver is out with an injury right now it's too much to ask for them to be perfect yeah and yet they still look so much better and i'll say this maybe we can get to this later okay dave canal still has some growing to do when it comes down to how many runs? <laughs> Chuba Hubbard is. Yeah, whatever. We'll get into that in a second. Eighteen. Only 18. eighteen. We'll talk about that in a second. Though. I don't want to get off topic. Right now, it's about the defense. Claude and Cheerless. Let's get to him first, Chris. We spoke to him first. He was asked about, "Hey, is it players or is it scheme?" Here's his answer. I would say it's not a scheme thing because I mean, every scheme has good plays around the league. Every team in this league has made good plays in their scheme, so you can't blame the scheme. Um, it's all of the above, really. I mean, we as players got to hold ourselves accountable and, you know, just execute. You like, know, I, I always say, me first. I point the finger at myself first. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's what it comes down to. All right, so that's Claude and Cheryl. He's one of those guys that's replacement filling in, Chris. Yeah. But let's actually get to one of the starters. I asked him a question. Hey, JC, is it scheme? Scheme, it ain't about the scheme. It's about the players. Players make plays, so. Our defensive players got to be better, myself included. All right, Chris. Very interesting answers yeah. from, from JC right there. From though. JC. And lightly calling out his his teammates, but somebody needs to. Yeah, someone someone has to. Because, hey, it's on us to get the job done is, is what he's saying. Yeah. Now, you had a chance also to talk to, uh, to JC. You were in there as well. And the conversation about does the offense have to be perfect, Chris? When you, you guys asked that question, does the offense got to be perfect? Here's what JC had to say. That's the most frustrating part to me. Just being here the last there's just always been like, oh, if we had an offense, we could do this, we could do that. And now, like I said, they're doing more than enough every week for us to win. And, you know, we haven't went out there and had that dominating performance yet as a defense. Like, I feel like we owe it to them guys. Uh, Chuba been running the ball great. You know, Andy been dealing. Um, Deontay been balling. This is a defense, and we ain't, we ain't even quite put it together yet. And I think that's the most frustrating part because it's been, every year has been, Defense been good and offense been struggling and I was like flipped on his head. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. So the guys are saying the right things. Yeah, they're saying the right things. And we'll actually hear from Deontay Johnson. We asked him that same question as, as well. Do you have to be perfect? And it feels like the answer is yes. It, it feels like the answer is yes. And that is a ton of pressure because it felt like last season, the defense, even though they weren't perfect last year, had to get stops on every single drive in order for the offense to be in things. And this year it's a complete flip. It's a complete 180. And it's hard to find answers when the answers just aren't there. I mean, here's the thing. If you look at offense, offense didn't have a bad day. No, they're, it really just, wasn't. They're really a tick behind uh, Atlanta for mm -hmm. most of it besides yards. Like, Atlanta exploded on the yards, but a lot of that has to do with the with the run game, not stopping yeah. the run, right? But... Um, Total drives, you know, this, you know, of course that's going to be close, but like 21 first downs for the Panthers, 25 first downs uh, for the Falcons. It's okay, so just a tick behind. Yeah. Uh, passing, 221 to 225. 
just a tick behind. Yeah. Right? Like, it's really the run game where it's at. And also, the other part was the penalties. Like, we saw where, like, Iki Aquanu had two early penalties. Two Chandler Zavala. Zavala had uh, an early start. penalty. And Josh uh, Nyman had a Josh Nyman had one there, too. And, and, you know, so those are things that I think the Panthers have to clean up. But, again, it's, it's kind of unfair right now. Uh, to to ask that offense to be perfect, and mm -hmm. we saw perfection against the Raiders. Um, Just about, yeah, you know it's. I don't know if you're going to see that all season uh, uh, for this team. So that's the part where it's like now there's some soul searching to do on the defensive side, and I, you know, hey. I think play calling could help out too. We talked about uh, you know I was talking about it a little bit, but mm -hmm. like that last. Before Andy Dalton threw his first interception. Well, it was 28-20 early fourth quarter. There was four straight runs by Chuba, which ended up getting, like, just moving the Got sticks. Got two first downs off that. Moving the sticks just on those, right? And, and just, just doing an amazing job. But if it weren't for that, he'd only have 14 carries in this game. Because then after the interception, you're behind. Yep. And you're buying two touchdowns, so now you have to throw it. Mm -hmm. So then if you don't do that, right, then you're talking about Chuba Hubbard only having uh, 14 carries. That's not good enough. And, no. and what have I said here before? minimum 20 carries for him. Oh, yeah. That, to me, that has to be the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. And if he would have had two more, he would have been over 100 yards, and you're maybe talking about a little bit different of a game. It feels as if there's too many times where, like, he has everything rolling, and then all of a sudden we try a play that there's no need to play. <laughs> and, like, one of the things about that drive before the interception that I liked is the run was working, so we kept going back to the run. Yeah, kept going back and to it. there were times uh, when he had that, uh, I think it was, what, second quarter or first quarter he had a 19 yard run yeah and then i was like quarters coming to the end zone we're and i said right like run it again yeah instead it was a, a pass play and i think it ended up uh some negative yardage and they started getting behind the sticks after mm -hmm. that and so it's like you know that's where where i hope dave canales starts taking his step up as a play caller like don't try to take too much uh at certain points like if they're not stopping to run themselves right because he's getting five yards per carry yeah, here 5.1 if he's not, <laughs> if they're not stopping to run themselves, like let's use Chuba, let's eat that clock, yeah. and and keep the ball out of the offensive, uh, the Atlanta's offensive hands, and that's something that I think the Panthers could do better on offense. And it's not like the five point one that he's getting is inflated by like, oh, he had a big seventy yard run, and right. then everything else is like just two, three yards. Steady, solid runs. Exactly, it was consistency, yes. consistency, and that's what this offensive line has brought for the most part yeah. is consistency, consistency in the run game. Chuba Hubbard is just churning out yard after yard after yards, just getting first downs moving the change and you mentioned that the drive where Andy Dalton threw that interception to uh, AJ Terrell first of all Ian Thomas um <laughs> know your personnel but second of all was that they actually after he brained those four times they went play action then they got a first down with Deontay Johnson it's like yeah. okay let's keep the thing moving because I said to you I said he only had 14 carries up to that point Dude's got to be fresh yeah. at this point. And yeah. even Dave Canales said in the postgame, hey, we were wearing down their defense. I was like, well, they keep running it. Yes. Like, you needed six. Yes. You needed six. I know Andy Dalton threw a bad interception. He knows it. We all know it. We all Jonathan saw Jonathan Mingo was open underneath. Uh, exactly. He's got to go underneath there. That's on Dalton. He can't make that throw. I know uh, Mark Sanchez on the broadcast said, like, you know, Ian Thomas has got to flatten that out a little bit. But yeah. Ian Thomas isn't known for his pass catching or his route running. He's not known for that. He's known for his blocking. So, again, Andy Dalton can't throw that play. And that completely flipped everything because uh, it felt like Carolina at that point, Chris, we're they're rolling. moving down the field. We're it rolling. was early fourth quarter. You yeah. get a touchdown and a two-point, man, we're tied. We're tied. Changes a completely the completely different game. Completely different game. Changes the complexion of the game for sure. It becomes a fight down the stretch to see what Atlanta has. And instead, I think any time for the Carolina Panthers, like right now you're not the team that can air it out. Now, can't. we did see – um, a good two-minute drive, under two minutes left Yo, at the end of the first the half. that's the highlight of today. That, that was really a big-time highlight. Of course, it ends with uh, Xavier Leggett getting that touchdown right, right here. here. Literally, right, 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 here. Like, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. It was literally right here. It was literally it was right here. here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> it was right there. And, of course, you know, he rode Dollar Bill. He did. Which was cool. He rode him. Um, and so, but this offense isn't the offense to to do that yet, right? Mm -hmm. So you really have to control clock and you have to get that defense tired. And that's the part where I think the, the Carolina Panthers are missing. They're not stressing defenses out. No. And I go back to what I said after that 19-yard run, and then you go back to a pass play. 
you played defense, but you played uh, defense oh, before. Yeah. Uh, and, and so if you just had a team run at you for 19 yards and you're a little tired and we go get back up to the line. And they come right back at you? Come right back at you. If they're passing it, that's almost maybe a little bit of a break for you. Somewhat. You know, depending uh, on I mean, you know, de depending on what they're, but the Panthers aren't the Chiefs. Yeah. Right? The Panthers aren't, you know, even the Vikings right now. Mm -hmm, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Far from um, it. So run it again. Run it at those guys who just had to, like, wrestle down uh, a 220-pound Chuba Hubbard who was running straight at them, have forced them to do it again. Yeah. And and that's the one thing that I think is a, a big critique on the offense that I think the offense can do better is just that. Like, let's let's wear these defenses down a little bit more. Uh, final thing on this, I think this is something that Dave Canales really just have to look at in terms of that running game. You might just have to do a ball control style game. Like, yeah, you can run the two minute, which that two minute drive was awesome, by the way. That was run to perfection. You went 76 yards and eight plays in a minute 35 with zero timeouts. So you, you know you have it in you, but you know if your defense can't stop anybody, shorten the game. This shorten is, the game. This is where I wonder, like, what happens when Jonathan Brooks comes in yeah because it's clear and, and i said this uh next to you too right now your probably third best receiver is is miles sanders probably so i like when you use him out wide in the slide out of the backfield or whatever you have to do for that that's cool let's not run him too much they didn't run him too much today uh he had three attempts for a yard there you go okay use him in the passing game when jonathan brooks gets here Maybe you can do a little bit more with that running game and become a ball control type of offense. You know, uh, to do that, uh, but also like to see a different variety of runs. I don't really see them stretching the edges no. too much either, and we've talked about that before. So there's just a few things I think that uh, that things need to be to to be tweaked for the offense to be a little bit better. But still, at the end of the day, it's sad that the Carolina Panthers have flipped. The last few years, yeah, the offense gave no help <laughs> to this team. None. The defense was keeping them in it and this year it's the defense and the offense is is helping them out just a little bit and defense just can't stop anybody and get off the field like and we said it once once the falcons cross the 50 they're scoring oh yeah and that's what happened every time it's what it is but hey you know what things to learn it was close it was a competitive game today and i think we expected going into the year more a lot of games like this but it doesn't mean the losses ain't frustrating yeah because it's like you're still right kind of right there yeah kind of right there but it feels like they have to play like you mentioned it you said it on on, on twitter and mentioned it multiple times panthers have to play mistake free in order to have a chance to win games that's just kind of how that's just where this team is that's just where this team in this franchise is right now you have to play mistake free to have yourself a chance where we are do you think they'll play mistake free no May maybe in germany though against the the giants no no you gotta stop texture lawrence <laughs> that's what you gotta that's, do that's and true. it's a brian burns revenge game as that, well yeah uh, leave your that. leave your thoughts here that. on the tonight's game here in the comment section here on panthers playbook again like and subscribe as well that's something that we need you to do carolina ford dealers your sponsor here at panthers playbook with the ford on f-150 on your team it's game on See your Carolina Ford dealer today. He's riding down the bill.